Hello students, this is Latif sir. Today I will discuss about factors responsible for the different state of matter. In the previous video, I have told that matter can exist in three different states, solid, liquid and gases. Today I am going to discuss about the factors responsible for different state of matter. <laughs> according to the theory of particulate nature of matter, according to the theory of particulate nature of matter, Matter is made up of very small particles. Matter is made up of very small particles. Uh, and these particles are called atoms and molecules. <laughs> and the arrangement of this particle in an object determines its state. In the figure 3.2, you can see the particles in gas are far apart from each other. But in case of solid, they are very closely attached. Okay. So, arrangement of particles are different in the gases, liquids and solids. In solid, the particles are very tightly packed. Very tightly packed. Uh, in case of uh, liquid, the particles are loosely packed as compared to solid. In case of gas, particle particles are most loosely packed. Okay, in case of solid particles are most closely packed or very tightly packed. In case of liquid particles are uh, particles are loosely packed as compared to solid. In case of gas gases, the particles are most loosely packed. <laughs> and the arrangement of particles in an object, the arrangement of particles in an object is different in three state mainly due to some factors huh. the arrangement of particles in uh, in an object huh, is different in uh, in three state mainly due to some factors and the factors are interparticle force interparticle space brownian motion and diffusion so what is interparticle uh, force <laughs> interparticle force uh, is a force of attraction or repulsion that exists between the particles. Interparticle force is uh, are the force uh, interparticle force are the force of attraction or repulsion that exists between the particles, uh, particles of matter. The interparticle force of attraction it is also called cohesive force. Uh, cohesive force, the force of attraction between the same types of particle. The interparticle force of attraction is called cohesive force and this cohesive force is maximum in uh, interparticle force or cohesive force is maximum in, in case of solid and minimum in case of gases. Okay. So, the interparticle force or adhesive force is maximum in solid. Therefore, the Interparticle force decreases in liquid state and become negligible in gaseous state. Due to high interparticle uh, uh, force, in case of solid, the solid state have a fixed, have a fixed shape and a definite volume. And due to this uh, high interparticle force, in case of solid, solids have highest density because the particles are very closely packed together and therefore solids cannot flow freely like liquid and gases because the particles are strongly held in a fixed position and and the particles in solid can only vibrate about that fixed position okay they can only vibrate but cannot move from one place to another place the partic in case of particles uh, in case of uh, sol uh, solid particles okay <coughs> now interparticular uh, particle space what is interparticle space the space between the particles uh, of matter is called interparticle space the space between uh, space uh, that exists between the particles of matter is called interparticle space and in case of gas, gaseous state, in case of gaseous state, interparticle space is maximum. 
and in case of solid the inter particle is uh, uh, space is minimum uh, minimum okay an inter particle space decreases from gas to liquid to solid hence solid have fixed shape fixed volume and no compressibility you can uh, you cannot com uh, compress a solid substance or solid matter but you can compress a liquid or gas gaseous uh, substance and gases are highly compressible because the interparticle space in case of gas is highest or maximum <coughs> liquid do not uh, liquid uh, liquids have no fixed shape but have fixed volume and can be compressed due to the presence of interparticle space in between the particles and gases have neither fixed shape nor definite volume as the particles have extremely large interparticle space in gases due to this large interparticle space available in gases they can be compressed to a very large extent <laughs> so interparticle space is maximum for uh, for gases and minimum for solid okay and due to this interparticle space uh, gases can be highly compressible but solid cannot be compressed oh. and liquid can be compressed to some extent okay and for the same reason uh, liquid uh, liquid has a uh, fixed uh, volume but no shape but gases do not have any fixed volume or fixed shape okay now brownian motion what is brownian motion i have told that in case of gases and liquids the particles are very loosely bound loosely packed now, they are far apart from each other that's why they can move randomly so the particles of fluid uh, fluid means the liquid and gases are called fluids because they can flow liquid and gases are uh, generally known as fluids because they can flow so the particles in fluid keep my uh, keep moving random uh, rapidly in any direction and bombard to each other and this random movement of particles in fluid is known as brownian motion and when the particles are in random movement they can collide uh, they can collide or they can bomb, uh, bombard with each other uh. okay so the random movement of particles in a fluid as a result of continuous bombard, uh, bombardment con uh, continuous bombardment among each other and between the particles of surrounding medium and that and the random motion uh, or rapid motion of fluid particles in any direction is known as brownian motion and this brownian motion is maximum for gases and minimum for solid so brownian motion is slowest in solid because the particles in solid are highly packed and the brownian motion in liquid is much faster than that that in solid but much slower than that in gases so gases uh, brownian motion of gas particles are very high maximum huh. <coughs> and this is why liquids fit uh, liquids fit any container they are placed into and particle in gases move first, uh, fastest of all and have largest interparticle space hence gases can expand to fill a container completely and if uh, gases left open gas uh, the particles of gases escaped out therefore gases do not have free uh, do not have free surface now another if a factor is diffusion diffusion means intermixing of two substance two or more substance generally mixing of two or more liquids or two or more gases okay so diffusion is the intermixing of substances by 
नेचुरल मूवमेंट ऑफ देयर पार्टिकल्स ऑफ देयर पार्टिकल्स इज कॉल्ड डिफ्यूशन द इंटर मिक्सिंग ऑफ सब्सटेंस बाय द नेचुरल मूवमेंट ऑफ देयर पार्टिकल्स इज कॉल्ड डिफ्यूशन डिफ्यूशन ऑकर व्हेन टू सब्सटेंसेस आर केप्ड इन कांटेक्ट आर केप्ड इन कांटेक्ट टू कांटेक्ट विद ईच अदर द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ वन सब्सटेंस मूव द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ वन सब्सटेंस मूव इनटू द इंटर पार्टिकल स्पेस ऑफ द अदर सब्सटेंस डिफ्यूशन इन सॉलिड इज एक्सट्रीमली स्लो बट इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड एंड गैसेस डिफ्यूशन इज वेरी द रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूशन इज वेरी हाई इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड एंड गैसेस एंड गैसेस डिफ्यूज वेरी फास्ट द रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूशन इन केस ऑफ गैसेस इज द मैक्सिमम एंड इन केस ऑफ सॉल्यूट सॉलिड डिफ्यूशन रेट इज वेरी वेरी लो दैट इज डिफ्यूशन इन इन सॉलिड इज एक्सट्रीमली स्लो गोल्ड एंड लेड प्रेस टूगेदर विथ विल टेक अ फ्यू ईयर to show some diffusion <laughs> i have told that solid uh, uh, for the diffusion uh, diffusion in solids it is extremely slow that's why when gold and lead uh, pressed together it will take a few years to show some diffusion okay and liquid diffuses quicker than solid For example, when a when a drop of ink is added to glass of water, is added to a glass of water, the ink the ink molecule diffuses into the water molecule and spread all over all over uh, uniformly. Okay, so do you uh, do uh, what you will see that the in uh, the whole water become colored. so ink diffuses in water this is an example of diffusion of liquid uh, liquid okay so liquid can diffuse uh, quicker than solid and gases diffuse very fast okay that's why the uh, fragrance of a perfume spread out in a room very quickly due to diffusion 